Chris, this is the club's fifth time out here in Dubai, and it's your fifth as well. How have you found it so far? No, it's always a really good trip. We come out here, get some sun, it's uh, great trainings, and get the opportunity to be, be together for five uh, full days now is uh, really beneficial for the whole squad, yes. Yeah, that was another tough training session for the boys today. The goal must be to work hard, return fitter and stronger as a team and to push on for success in the second half of the season. Yeah, of course, that's always our target. We did that, uh, we've done that every single year we've been here and uh, we're doing exactly the same thing like, we're, like we've done all, all the years as well. So we're uh, training hard, pushing each other and hopefully we'll come back uh, even fitter this time. The winter training camp has been the catalyst for success in recent years. How beneficial is it to come out here and have longer sessions than you do back home where you're, you're able to stop start more with the better weather? No, training in uh, warmer weather is uh, almost better, always better for the fitness and always better for the, for the feel-good factor as well. So to come out here to, to put in really good sessions uh, uh, with the, the whole group is really beneficial, yeah. The result on Saturday was obviously disappointing, especially given how well we played, but ultimately nothing changes behind the scenes. You guys still want to win every game from now until the end of the season? Yeah, of course, we're, we're disappointed with the defeat. Uh, we, we're a club that expect, are expected to win every single game and uh, the players expect it as well, so we're hugely disappointed, but we just have to uh, keep performing, uh, uh, to try to perform better uh, at the second half of the season. Yeah, and you were, of course, the penalty goal hero at Hamden last month. A few weeks on, is that properly sunk in yet? Yeah, obviously it was a, it was a great day, but when you, when you play for Celtic, I'm, I'm quite used to that you have to, uh, to think about the next game really quick, so it's probably something I will look, look more at when, I, when the season is over or when I retire more. And uh, It's obviously a great moment for me and my family, but uh, hopefully there's more to come. How important are the three league games in hand from a psychological point of view? Well, the three league games in hand is obviously uh, good for us. We, we know that we have to take nine points in them, three games, but we also know that we have to win uh, uh, pretty much all the games uh, coming, coming forward. So we're, we're uh, excited for the challenge and uh, really, really looking forward to it. Tumble and Sorrow have impressed in the pitch in recent weeks and this is our first time at the winter training camp. What have you made of them so far? Well, they've been great. They've been uh, training really well since they came in. They've been uh, developing really well. The Soros English is spot on now. He's a great guy around the dressing room and David is, uh, has uh, come in really easy for him. He's a Scottish guy that knows almost all the guys from the uh, national team and uh, he's, a, he's a great lad as well. So to, to see them perform has been, I'm really delighted for both of them. And it's great to see the likes of Johnston and Forrest getting back to full fitness. How important will it be having these boys back up to speed at this point in the season? Yeah, of course it's important for us. They're two great players and I can't wait to, to see them back. They've been working extremely hard uh, to get fit, so I can't wait to see them play.